What a Capacitor Is Video 1 Capacitors are generally used for short-term storage of an electrical charge. Despite being an electronic component, a capacitor by design is not intended to be electrically conductive. A capacitor is made simply by having two metal plates separated from one another by something that is not electrically conductive. That something is called the dielectric. The dielectric could be the air, piece of paper, plastic, ceramic, or other material that doesn't conduct electricity. Why am I telling you this? Our HHO cells are simply capacitors, and in order to understand the designs Stanley Myers created, it is important to understand what capacitors are and how they work. Okay, so a water cell is a capacitor. What do I do with this knowledge? When a capacitor is not charged, it's basically in an electrically neutral state. As you add a negative charge to one side of the capacitor, it pushes away an equal negative charge from the other side of the capacitor. This is because electrical charges that are alike repel each other. Now, if the voltage isn't higher than the capacitor is able to handle, eventually the capacitor becomes fully charged and pushes back on the negative charge on the power source. At this point, there is no further current to draw from the power source as it does not have enough potential to go further. If you put more voltage on a capacitor, it also builds up a charge and repels an equal charge from its opposite plate as before. However, once charged, the higher potential then is able to handle will cause the dielectric to break down. What does this mean? Well, if air is your dielectric, you will get an arc across your plates as the air will ionize and allow the charge to pass between the plates. If you are using water for your dielectric, the water will break down into its atomic components of hydrogen and oxygen, in other words, HHO. The next video will explain the properties of inductors, the next required component in creating an efficient HHO system. I will later be making another video explaining some special properties of the water capacitor related to cell conditioning and specifically why it is important and how it actually improves a properly constructed water cell's performance.